All right, you want a Reve Revelation Newsy video? I'll give it to you, okay? Joe Biden. I, like, I, I have been away from talking about this shit for quite some time. Because I'm going to tell you, if I started talking about it at length, I would be doing a lot of that, which is cussing, okay? And, and I'm not, I'm not, I, my God, I changed a lot, okay, from the old days and when I was first on here, okay? And my own wife will tell you that. Uh, I had a very, very soft heart. And uh, I just really, in a lot of ways, don't anymore. I, I still love people, and I still want what's best for people and stuff like that, of course. Uh, but I, I, a lot of the, a lot of the, the just the warmness and, and just general good nature has been uh, beaten out of me, you could say. But uh, if you want a, a Rev video, here's a Rev video for you, man. I have never in my life experienced the absolute abject failure to move on things that need to happen like yesterday like releasing strategic reserves so that people aren't paying seven dollars a gallon for gas eventually uh there's no action so what what do you do when you have a guy that's literally standing in front of you saying there's nothing i can do to help you in this situation and just about every American that has any kind of knowledge of what what the government has, which is called strategic reserves, which we have tons of, unless that piece of, you know, the guy that's in there right now signed away our reserves, which is entirely possible, because that first day in office, he wrote, he signed off on executive orders that shut down all the progress that Trump was making in terms of, of getting this country. This is why I made the video. And I want people to remember this. Because this sack of shit that's in there now is trying to tell you it's everything from now. Now it's Putin. Now it's the Putin gas price hike. Okay, maybe 75 cents has gone up since Putin did this. But guess what? Do you recall that at the end of the Trump presidency, the price of gas was $1.15 a gallon. Is anybody remembering this? Do you know what that was a sign of? And when I saw that on, 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 on the, 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 the board when I was putting gas in my gas tank, when I still had money and I was putting gas in that gas tank, I literally cheered for, I literally said, boy, Trump did it. I literally said that we're energy independent. The only way that you could have a buck 15 a gallon for gas at that time is that he did it. His plan was to get us off foreign oil. That was one of his huge things that he's talked about since Iraq. All of the first Iraq thing, he was always saying it's foreign oil. We got to get off that crap. He did it. And now you have this sack of shit and I will say that okay I don't care if he's got dementia he's still in there he's the acting president and he knows he still has to have some knowledge up here to be getting up every day even talking he's got to remember some of this stuff so don't tell me pity him because he's like your own granddad yeah maybe he is but the point My is granddad that likes to touch you. ew there's that too what kind of normal individual do you know puts their hands on kids uh, massaging their shoulders? Get the hell out. Disgusting. Anyway, I want you to remember this. Under Trump at the end, you had a dollar fifteen a gallon for gas. Why was it like that? We had a president that would allow that to happen. Do you know how much of a blessing that was? To have, because there's plunge protection teams for commodities too. Do you know that? 
Yeah. Have you ever even heard... See, I'm probably going to talk over everybody's head with this shit. A plunge... This is something that's within the government now through the FDIC, which is, is, is a federal uh, uh, securities depositing... Uh, they secure deposits that are in U.S. accounts, the FDIC. Okay? Um, they control a thing on the stock market that's called a pl the plunge protection teams. And what that is, is if they have weird trading that's going on and they see a large dip or a large, super huge up too, they'll come in and say, okay, we're freezing trading. What the hell happened there? It's a way to keep Wall Street honest. If they see a huge explosion in a price, they go, wait, freeze it. What the hell happened there? Let's make sure that's organic. Oh, it's organic? Okay, go for it. And it keeps going up. Sure. That that happens. You have a stock that, that goes public, IPO. I've been in, I was involved in Facebook. I was involved in Twitter. That's how I made quite a bit of money. Okay. Poof. Anyway. Uh... You act on those IPOs because they're going to be big because they're names that everybody knows at this point. You invest in Facebook. You make you make twenty grand. I made like twenty five grand on it and I sold it. I made enough money. I'm out. Okay. Uh, I was going to do the same thing with Twitter, but that just didn't go right. Like the the order was fucked up in some way and it it just didn't happen. But I probably would have made fifty some grand on that maybe. You know what I mean? Apple stock, I made so much money on Apple stock, it's fucking madness. I made like 400 grand on it total, I think, something like that. Because I was selling and get back in, sell it, get back in, sell it, get back in, and at lower price. Because at a time, at that time it was correcting, right? You, you got a really high stock price and it'll correct itself. And it's like, okay, this is the time to sell it and you get back in with a lower price. And you, boom, your dividends are bigger every month then. See, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, there's a plunge protection team for commodities too. Trump said, fuck you. Let the prices go down because that's where they belong. Because I made it happen. You ain't going to keep gas at even $2 a gallon because it should be $1.15. Put the prices at $1.15 because that's where they belong. Because he was developing Keystone and these liars, they're saying that there was no Keystone pipeline at all. That's not true because I remember the day that Trump said, huge success, Keystone starting to pump the shit. They want to change history because what Trump did made, if it kept going that way and he further developed the pipeline, there'd be no reason for us to ever go to fucking Russia or Saudi Arabia or anybody else for fucking oil. Ever again. And you could fill up your tank for 30 fucking bucks. 20 bucks. You got a full tank of fucking gas. Now that's looking out for the guy on Main Street. And he's a Republican. Well, he's not even that. Trump's a fucking... Uh, libertarian. He's a he, he's a conservative in some ways and very liberal in other ways. Okay, he's pro LGBTQ all the way, man. He had the flag open at the Republican convention. I support LGBTQ rights, a hundred percent. Do you condemn white supremacists? Yes, I do. Oh, he didn't fully condemn them. Jesus, God, what do you want him to do? Do you want him to slit the throat of a Nazi live on television? He's not a... Jesus Christ. Anyway, there's your rev video, man. I'm very angry at what I see in the country. And, 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 and it's just madness. They're not doing anything to help you. That's what you need to know. Why would you ever pull a little leather, lever, lever in the old, because here they still got old machines, man, the levers with the punch cards, okay? Why would you ever pull a lever or, or push a thing on an LCD touchscreen for anybody that is doing nothing for your family when you're suffering? Why would you do that? Why would you pull the lever for that party ever again? 
And am I encouraging you to vote for a Republican? Not really. No. I, I, I got no dog in that fight, and I haven't for a long time, okay? But, but if I were to get involved in politics, I would be a Republican because I know that you have to sit in a fucking seat that's labeled with a, with a red ass or a blue ass on it. It's bullshit, but that's the way you got to do it. You got to bow down to your fucking master and pick a seat because that's the, it's not three party system. And it's not, it, there should be no parties. The founders wanted no parties yeah, because they knew it would lead to divide and conquer mob rule. Divide and conquer. You divide these pe folks over here, put them in their own category, usually divided by socioeconomic uh, structures or simply your ideology, which is what they play on now. It's all about what you believe. Oh, this person believes that way. Holy shit, they're canceled. Out, done. We'll never speak their name again. That's what it is now. So it's like everybody's character is just taken, put on its knees and capped in the back of the head. That's it. And there's nothing you can do about it either. If they label you this and they continue to have people that are willing to go in, in, in public and say, yes, these people are that, you're fucked. Because the, the, the opinion, the, the, the court of public opinion happens to, in a lot of cases, manifest what is reality. That's why Goebbels' ta tactics of propaganda is so effective. If you have enough people screaming, that guy, do you get what I'm saying? You have enough people looking at one or two people saying, that's the fuck right there that did it. And we're going to get that person. Yeah, it's 1984, the, the, the 10 minutes hate with O'Brien, with, 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 uh, they gave him a Jewish name. The, the, the guy that they put up on the screen for everybody, Finkelstein or something is his name. The evil guy, Finkelstein, 1984. They put up his picture. And that's me and Shani. They put up me and Shani's picture and they go, we hate that. We're Finkelstein from 1984, Shani. That's it. They put our picture up and they, they throw the 10 minutes hate at it. And we're just two normal people. But I mean, they do that with other, they do that with cults of personality. They put, they put the guy in World War II up there. Because I can't say his name anymore. If they put the big guy up in World War II and say, this is your enemy. There you go. Hate him. Oh, look at all that hate he's getting. Shit. Damn, we're going to kill that guy. And then, boom, they capped him. Apparently, I don't know. Or he capped himself. Whatever. Yeah. What was it? Kaiser Wilhelm. <coughs> <coughs> Kaiser Wilhelm, whatever, the World War I. Uh, Ho Chi Minh for Vietnam. Saddam Hussein, Gulf War, scary guy. Yeah, he wasn't a good guy. I'm not going to support Saddam Hussein. He wasn't good, okay? But still, does that mean we have to be the cowboys and get our six shooters out and, and take out Saddam? No, what the hell is that? America's not meant to be a, 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 a bad guy assassination force like fucking Avengers or something. Team America, fuck yeah, exactly. That's why they made that movie, you know? It's a joke. Why the hell... Are we superheroes that we have to go save the world from these, these uh, tin pot dictator losers? Why is it not the responsibility of Ukraine to defend Ukraine? Why do we have to be involved with any of that shit? We can say, yeah, we don't support Putin in this shit at all. We don't know why he's doing it even. But you need to defend your own country. We're not, we're not the policemen of the globe. But of course we have these wonderful, righteous, amazing, liberal, woke people. We have to defend everybody. No, bullshit. America first. But at the same time, they're, they're saying we got to defend everybody and we're... You know, and, and, and we're all we're all of the human family, which is, of course, true, but there's borders for a fucking reason. 
right, when your country is bleeding out anyway, which we are, bleeding out of the fucking floor. Lady Liter Liberty is literally hemorrhaging from, you know, to her part. And it's just bleeding out. Radiation sickness from Lady Liter Liberty. No fertility left at all. Nothing. Gone. Because we had the leeches suck it. Do you get what I'm saying? They took our life force, sucked it right out of us. The Federal Reserve System. Cancer. It's cancer on your country. And you have them just, oh my God, they prey on the, they prey on the ignorance of the American people. They say, so the Federal Reserve is here to help. Do you realize that they've been the entire problem with, the, with, with crashes in the currency and up and down and all this bullshit? They control you like that with the Fed. Put the interest rates at zero. Oh, great. That's awesome. You get nothing on your money. You put your fucking money in a savings account CD. You get 0.01% of your money. Nothing. Yields nothing. My grandma built pretty good wealth, but she was taking out CDs consistently. When they were paying out 7 8%. That's it. No, we're going to talk to the Fed and they're going to go, no, you have dog shit money. Right? Now, right now, what you would need to do is actually raise the interest rates on, on, on money so that it could actually pay for things. But see, this is, this is the cycle. This, in economics, this is what happens with your, a currency that's controlled this way. They will shove tons of liquidity into the system to make it work better and more smooth because that's the only way they know how to ease things is by putting more and more paper currency into it. Then they freeze it again and go, okay, let's see where that settles. You might see prices fall down a little bit, but it's going to be back again and then they just keep doing it. That's all they know how to do is put more fucking paper in the system. That's all they do is print more money from nothing, from z nothing. It's out of thin air, fiat, it has no value other than what it's printed on from the trees that they're cutting down and killing the fucking planet. Okay? But you know what happens when you constantly flood the market with dollars like that? It devalues your currency. Of course it does. And what happens? You get what's called hyperinflation, which what is that? It's $50 a loaf of bread. You better wake the fuck up. 